first video of the series. And um, <laughs> I'm going to try to talk a little louder this time because I know in the um, building video it was a little quiet. Um, and again, I am using OBS. Uh, there is one problem I know with OBS, and that is that um, every time the camera moves, the picture starts to dissolve and goes like fuzzy and stuff. It's kind of annoying. Okay, I'm not seeing anything show up yet on the stream, so. Let me see. I think I have it set right. showing up as blank, if you heard any of me talking or not. The cat back here is being really annoying. Stuff you shouldn't be messing with. But anyway, um, speaking of my cats, I said in the uh, previous video that if I get to 50 subscribers, I might try to, like, try to get my webcam working and set it on, like, my cats. It'll be, like, the cat cam, because I don't want to be on camera. But, um, anyway... So, <laughs> I don't know how much you heard while that was all blank and stuff, but um, just in case, it cut out the beginning. Uh, this is the first in my series of the houses of this modern nobility experiment, all inspired by um, Westeros, some Song of Ice and Fire, Game of Thrones, all that. Uh, so this first one is based very, very, very loosely on House Briar of Dorne. I don't really know a lot about them because they're an extinct house, um, but I am starting with all the extinct houses and getting them all out of the way, and then eventually working my way up to the houses that you know from the books or the show. Uh, now, there are shows on the ho on houses on the show that are extinct now, that aren't extinct in the book so, yet, <laughs> so I'm just going by the state of what houses were still existing at the end of book five. But anyway, you know, until we get book six, if that ever happens. Alrighty. So, if you watched my first video, I uh, built this house. I haven't got any of the furniture or anything in it yet. I just wanted to get it built. And it was like, even without furniture, it was 104000 So I had to do uh, free real estate. And then I noticed a couple little things like some wallpaper and stuff were missing, so that took us from 22000 down to 21752 That's what we're going to use for at least the starting furniture. Now, I haven't actually done anything other than just, you know, fix a couple of walls and floors that weren't covered. I've literally just moved this family in. I haven't really set up anything for them clothing-wise. I just set up their personalities and basically just randomized them by using dice since there's no randomized button for personality. Although they all have the same goal, uh, which is successful lineage, because when it's a nobility, that's really the only goal there is. So, <laughs> anyway, let's um, get all this stuff sorted out, and then, actually, you know what I do before I even do that? Now, this is the only mod you will ever, 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 ever ever need. The only one. It does everything. And like I said, I haven't set up any of the um, any of the clothing, and I'm probably going to end up being annoyed with their clothing, but just to get it out of the way. Generate multiple outfits. There we go. Now he's got 30 outfits. Mods are your friend. Do the same thing for her. Okay, because the, okay, since this is nobility, he's a young adult and she's a teenager. Um, because that's usually the way it works in nobility. Marry off a teenage girl as soon as she's old enough to get married. But, um, let's see, outfit commands, generate multiple outfits. There, now she's got 30 outfits, and I'll probably hit them all. 
but it's just quicker to do that and then change them in-game if I need to. If I really, really hate them. I just, this is basically just what they had on when I hit randomize and create a sim. Now, the other thing I need to do in order to make this nobility system work, like I said, the only mod you'll ever need is MC Command Center. So, go to relationships, add relationship, primary sim. Okay, do the same thing for her, except make her the secondary sim. And then you add relationship again. Boom! Wife. Even though she's a teenager and he's a young adult. Now, the only problem that there is with doing it that way, it works really great when you're doing a nobility system because there's arranged marriages and they don't really even know each other when they get married. But um, the only problem is they don't have a memory of getting married, so they often, if they like each other, they get whims to get engaged or get married to the person they're already married to. So that's one little glitch, but I can live with it. Alright, so now these two are married. Now let me look at their relationship and see if I... I'm trying to decide if I should just leave it as is. Or lower it a little bit since they're technically strangers who just kind of said, Hey, our houses should be allies. Okay. It's Avalar and Eleanor. This is the, I'm just going alphabetical through all the names in A Song of Ice and Fire. Because, like I said, this is an extinct house. I don't really know a lot about them. But I'm just going um, alphabetical through the names. Alright, now what's it say for this? Lovers. To be in love is a beautiful thing. Um, I'm wondering if I should lower that a little bit or not. See, I did this before, off camera. I don't remember exactly all the things I went through to set it up. Even if you never watch anything I do, please just follow me. Just so I can hit 50 followers and actually start getting money. Hopefully. Alright. And if you're looking at their personalities, basically, I, like I said, I use dice to randomize them. Alright. So, what was I talking about? Whether or not to lower their relationship a little bit, since it is technically an arranged marriage. Let's see. Right now they're set at lovers, I believe it was, right? MC Command Center. Look, you can do it right from the relationship screen. I love MC Command Center. Seriously, I should be, like, getting paid for doing um, publicity for that, that mod. Okay, um, it's not the only one you will ever, ever need. Okay, relationships. Look at this. Set active relationship levels. Set active romantic. And look at these options you have. So, yeah. Um, I guess lovers is before sweethearts. I was thinking sweethearts was before that, but lovers. <laughs> Bad romance. Alright, enemies, bad romance, if it's very awkward, it's awkward, just friends, lovers, sweethearts, soulmates, true lovers. Um, see, now technically it should be, it's awkward, <laughs> since it is an arranged marriage, but I think that kind of puts it in the... And then, because they know what's expected of them, considering it's a, an arranged marriage and all that, so I think I'll just leave it at lovers for now, just for now, if it, if it ends up being unbelievable or problematic or whatever because you know in nobility whether you want to be married to the person or not you kind of know that you're expected to be with that person so anyway um and another thing it's probably vastly different from the way other people play this game i don't live in fast forward i don't sit there and control every second of their day i usually only even tell them to do stuff if it's um something i know they have a whim or something they absolutely have to do um, that I know that they won't do autonomously, then I'll tell them to do something. Like right now, she wants to dance to stereo music, which I don't even know if I'm going to have in the game because Twitch gets a bitchy about music and I've got custom music in the game. Um, let's see. Be alone, share insecurities. See, these two things she'll do on her own. This she would do on her own if we have stereo. Um, 
So yeah, I don't control every second of their day. I usually never even tell them to do stuff unless one of their motives gets low or it's something I know that they can't do on their own, like buy something or get a job or whatever. And um, also, what led me to this this uh, conversation is that um, I have it set because of my mod, because of MC Command Center, I have it set so that they will autonomously go to bed with each other. They will autonomously try for baby or not. It depends on, I think, I think they usually only try for baby if one of them is family oriented, but otherwise they just do regular. And, and you're saying, but then how do they have children if they're not family oriented? But I also have it set because of MC Command Center. Not only will they autonomously woohoo, they'll autonomously try for baby, they will also have a certain percentage chance, even when regular woohoo, of having a baby. Because, um, reality, okay, I see everything I do in the game, I strive for reality. So, guess what? Even if you're not trying, you could end up with one. And even if you are trying, you might not end up with one. Hey, reality. So, I don't actually ever tell them to try to have babies. Every baby born in the game is something that they do autonomously. Because you never know. Some people have five kids. Some people have zero kids. It just really depends on the people. And I, like I said, I strive for reality in the game. So I let them do all that on their own. I, plus, I kind of feel like some kind of pimp if I tell you, oh, go sleep with this person. It's, it's a little weird. So I just let them do it on their own. And then if they have babies, they have babies. If they don't, they don't. And it doesn't really even matter for the first few houses because they're extinct. So they don't have to have children. Now, when I get to the houses that are still in existence today, I might deliberately make them have one child just because I know that the house is continuing to exist. But with extinct houses, they don't even have to have children. Now, they could just be extinct, not because they didn't have children, but because they got killed off or because they only had daughters, so their house name disappeared. So there's a lot of reasons they could be extinct. And like I said, I don't know a lot about House Prior. If somebody else knows more about House Prior, please tell me. And there's nine extinct houses in Dorne. And this is just the first one. I'm going alphabetically. So, anyway, that's just explaining a little bit of how I play the game. I'm all about free will. And some people may find that boring to not sit there and control every second of their lives. But I actually find it more interesting to see what they'll do on their own. It's just, it's more interesting to me than sitting there and controlling every single thing they do. So I was just thinking I better save. I also have it set to auto-save like every 11 hours or something. 11 sim hours. But anyway, um, on with, on with the show, right? Um, let me see, when did I start the stream? Um, let me check real quick, because I don't want to make it too long. I've been going for 13 minutes right now. So, I started at like, we'll say 9.45. So, around 10.45 or 11.45, one or two hours. I'm going to try to make it not too long. But, you know, if stuff happens, I might have to end it early or whatever. Like, rain or people showing up or whatnot. But anyway, um, on with the show. Now we got to get these people some furniture. Now, it's a huge, huge, huge house. Never going to have enough stuff for all this, this house. But if it's going to persist through the generations, which, yeah, this is an extinct house. But I might just, if these people go completely extinct, I might just move another family into the house. Because that's the way it would work in, in, in um, Thrones, too, is if one house dies out, somebody else takes over. At least the Boltons thought they were doing that. Ha! Huh. But anyway, um, so, yeah, so I, the, the house is probably going to stay around even if this family is not living in it. And I'll probably keep the furniture in it even after they're gone. So, I'll have time to get it built up. But, um, let's see. Furniture, furniture. I'm going to get the outdoor trash first. I always forget about that. <laughs> so I always forget about that. Oh, and they need to hire a freaking butler, too. Because they have servants. They're rich. Well, they're not really rich, but they're supposedly rich. Um, let's see. Remind me to get a butler, somebody. <laughs> not that anybody's watching. But if you ever watch, remind me to get a butler. But let's uh, get the furniture out of the way, and then hopefully I'll remember to do the butler thing. Alright, outdoor trash. That's what we're doing first, just to get it out of the way. And like I said, normally when I'm playing by myself, I just like 
roll dice, so everything's random, but rolling dice would be annoying when I've got a microphone right on the desk, too. So, no. I don't know. Um, I guess we'll do that. Aw, they can't kick that one. Poor babies. Oh, and I also need outdoor lights, because I only did the indoor lights so I can see the walls and crap. Alright. Outdoor lights. Wall lights, because it took up the least amount of space, and they're the least annoying. Um, that looks kind of... castle -y. I know it's not really medieval, but I still try to do... I still try to make it look medieval-ish to give you the impression that this house has been around for centuries and stuff, even though there's no furniture in it. But like I said, most of the fun, like I said in the other video, most of the fun I have in the game is seeing how long it takes them to like build a house into something really fun and spectacular. But I don't really do, as I also said in the other video, I don't really do a lot of decorations and stuff. I just... All it does is waste money and makes your bills really, really, really high. And for what? Just to look a little prettier and get a move that says nicely decorated? Not worth it. Not worth it. So basically, I usually, I might get like one art piece just to fulfill the view piece of art need they sometimes get. Or whim. Um, I might have like one piece of artwork or something just so they can do that. But beyond that, I really don't sit there and go overboard with the decorations and crap. It's just, it's too expensive, and it's not worth the payout. Okay, um, let's see. Function over form is what I always say when it's sims. Now, outdoor trash we got, um, toilets. Now, there's a lot of bathrooms in this house, a lot of bathrooms, but considering they're still pretty low on cash, I'm just going to get their bathroom and the servants, butlers, maesters, whatever, that bathroom done for now. Um, see, it's going to be a pain in the butt so they have to go all the way up to the third floor, but at the same time, it's it, that's the master's quarters. That's where they would be. So, all right. Yes, we're using unbreakable ones. I can't stand shit that keeps breaking. I can't stand it. That's unbreakable too. What does that even look like? You can't really tell in the picture. Why does the brown look darker than the black? What does that even look like? Maybe we'll put that in the bottom. Yeah, we'll put that in the bottom. In the maester's quarters. Um, maester meeting public. Plus, like I said, there's not a lot of money, so I can't really furnish the whole house. It's basically just going to be what's necessary now. My sims usually do have a lot of issues with money, because I don't usually do the money cheat unless it's absolutely dire and they're going to die if I don't buy something, you know? <laughs> so, that's about it. Um, or if the game screws me over, like charges me for something getting repaired and they don't actually repair it, then I'll say no, I'm taking the money back, thank you. Alright. Mm, not very fancy yet. Someday though. Okay. Nah. Showers or tubs. Alright. I guess I'll stay up here and finish theirs. Um, I like showers better. They're quicker and faster. Oh, that's another thing I had to do, is I had to put the pixelation back in. Because, you know, I'm sure Twitch has a problem with naked cartoons. So, I, I usually never play with the pixelation, because I think it's ridiculous and stupid, and just, just ridiculous. But, um, I had to put it back in, because I don't want Twitch screwing with me about naked cartoons. I hate the pixelation, it takes up half the screen and just looks ridiculous, but whatever. Um, so I had to take the pixelation out, but I left my mod in. Because I cannot play this game without that mod. Literally, if MC Command Center is not updated, I won't play the game until it is. I cannot freaking play this game without that. Alright, um... No. And I think, if anybody doesn't know, I believe it's, um... Deader Pool slash 
or dot mc and make it here. If you want to get MC command centers, you can do all this fun stuff that I'm doing. Uh, it is Deadpool MC, one word, D E A D E R P O O L M C dot Tumblr dot com. And I can put that in chat if anybody needs it or whatever, assuming anybody ever watches this. But okay, um now for the butler's quarters, is there not a cheap unbreakable one? Oh, I don't think there is any unbreakable showers, honestly. That looks cheap and servanty, right? really even see them. Alright. Can't really tell. Guess we'll do that. Mm -hmm. Alright. Look at this. We're already down 20,000. Barely got anything. Um, sinks. 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 Mm, reliability 5. Reliability 8. I think that's the highest you can get with sinks is reliability 8. So. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to move the shower because it looks weird. It doesn't look good for now. Um, yeah, it just looks weird. I guess that's right. Yeah, it's this way. I knew it looked weird. Okay. There we go. Alright. Onward we go. <laughs> Four floors. It's a pain in the butt. But, oh well. Such is life. Actually, I think I'll put the sink over here and then move the thing further to here. See, that bathroom's way too huge, but, you know, whatever. Should the toilet be faced the other way? Just look at the windows. Leave it for now. Okay. So, the next most necessary thing would probably be a refrigerator. Yes, the kitchen's tiny, but they're not going to be in the kitchen anyway. That's where the butler should be. Not that they can really afford a butler, but you know, whatever. Um, refrigerators, where are you? Right now I'm just giving them all the unbreakable stuff just so I don't have to deal with all the repairing. Or at least as close to unbreakable as I can get. Although repairing is good for making some money by selling parts and stuff. But since they're going to have a butler, the butler's probably going to be doing the repairing anyway, so. Alright. Then we'll get them a bed of some sort. Alright. <laughs> it's gonna be a pain in the butt of it to go all the way to the third floor. But that's the way it is. Once there's like 700 kids in the house, it won't matter, will it? has like a good rating so I don't have to hear them whine about my bed's uncomfortable. Um, the cheapest one I could get that's actually good. I think I do one's pretty cheap. It's good. Um, oh, I think it's up here actually. It's the very first one. Not the first one. One of the first ones. Maybe I'm not in it. Or maybe I no longer have it in the game. I don't know. Ah, oh, there's one. Yeah, only 300 bucks. And look at that. 10, 10, 10. I'll take it. I will take it. So do we want, like, the leopard print? Snow leopard print? Or the gray? Or the purple with flowers? I guess we'll go with the snow leopard for now. Alright. Oh, gosh. I'm sitting here trying to watch the time, too. I'm trying to, I think I'm going to probably go to, like, 11. So this doesn't get too long. Looks weird. Is the window off center? I don't know. Okay. Uh, 
than the counters in the kitchen. Now you need a minimum of three counters. Yes, there's a science to this. You need a minimum of three counters. <laughs> you need one for the sink, one to, to uh, put the dishwasher in, and then, you know, microwave. Or whatever. Um, okay. That's a rather cheap counter. But this one, I think, comes in a better color selection. So we'll do that. Alright, so counters and stove. I think I'm going to flip the fridge around too. sink would probably be a good idea, but they'll probably still go up four flights of stairs to do their uh, dishes in the bathroom, because that makes sense. Um, okay. I think the highest kitchen sink reliability you can get is five. How lame is that? You're always going to be fixing this kitchen sink for the rest of your life. Um, so yeah, what's the cheapest five one? That one, I guess. It's like, yeah, they're supposed to be nobles, but right now they got no money, so we're going as cheap as we can. Put the sink there, because we'll have the dishwasher there eventually, someday. So I try to keep the dishwasher and the sink closer to the dining area, just to make it easier. And the dining area is going to be down in here. The Great Hall. Okay. So, next we want to do what? Got to keep track of this money, too. <laughs> it's going. Alright, um... Stove. Stove would be a good thing, huh? So they can set themselves on fire, because everybody needs to be setting themselves on fire. Alright, um... I think I do have an unbreakable one somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. There it is. But the problem is, every time I get them an expensive stove, they set it on fire, and then they can't afford to replace it, so they get stuck with a crabby one anyway. Can I diagonal that? Yes, I can. As far away from the rest of the furniture as possible. Because you know it's going to be on fire within a day. Okay. An alarm. Because you know, see last statement, it's going to be on fire within a day. Okay. Uh, now. Uh, couch. Well, hmm. See, we're not going to have a traditional living room. Every area is going to have its own little living quarters. But since this is the lord and lady of the house. We'll just stick it up here somewhere. Alright. Now. Now, a couch that looks kind of... Not too expensive, but looks kind of, like, tolerable. Love seat. It has three cushions. Just an optical illusion if it's a love seat. Okay, um... Uh, it's nice, but the colors are meh. Yeah. Bleh. Bleh. I don't like its colors. Um. Her. I need a three-seater that comes in decent colors. It's tough. Because I don't want to, like, spend $7,000 on a couch, because that's insane. What's this one? Um. That's kind of funky. But I should probably get something with purple in it to match. Well, the purple's kind of a more magenta-ish purple. Not that I really care that much about matching. But it's like, if I can't get it in just black or white, then I want it to at least semi-match. Sometimes. I don't know. It really depends. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I don't know, like the print with the printed carpet is a little much. Not that I really... I'm not that into, like, interior design. <laughs> I just, like, just don't want it to look too horrible, that's all. This leather one's kind of decent. 
Um, that does not look as quite as black as it looks in the preview. Oh, I'll have to wait. When all this fills, it goes black or white, right? Okay. Set it there for now, though. I'm sure it's gonna get moved around and stuff. Okay. Honestly, I'm gonna get to playing, I swear, but I gotta get them, like, at least a tolerable assortment <laughs> of things to live with here. Um. Okay. A desk. I really like the, um, single tile desks. So I'm all about saving room. Although, these corner desks are kind of nice too. I guess we'll go with the corner desk. Set that up there. All these desk chairs, sometimes they're kind of wonky. Some of them will work and some of them won't. It's just weird. Um, like rocking chair. That is not a desk chair. Why is it a desk chair? It's just strange. Okay. Um, I don't want to like spend too much money, but I don't want it to look too crappy either. The boss executive desk chair. I'm not sure if that's one of the weird ones that don't work right. It shouldn't because it's Maxis. It should work, but you never know anymore. Computer. Let's see. Five hundred dollars for reliability eight. $500 Maxis for Reliability 3. Now do we see why I use custom content? Okay. Got a little lamp in here, just because it's in the corner. It's kind of dark. Ooh, candles. Why use a lamp when you have candles, right? Mm, I don't really like brown, so... Alright. Whew, what's next? Oh yeah, we need an indoor garbage dumping. I do have a list, can you tell? <laughs> okay. I was just checking, that didn't look like it was wallpaper. Okay. Now, garbage can. Now I want to use the one that pays us money. Can I afford it? such an expensive garbage can. But at least it gets you money. But if the butler's throwing stuff away, but I won't get any money anyway. But oh well. Um, let's see. Bookshelf, I suppose. Should get one of those. Alright. Put it up here or somewhere. Because right now I'm just... It's not that. Right now I'm just getting like the just the master's quarters ready because we don't have enough money to like do the whole house right now so just the master's quarters is all I'm gonna go with right now I like this bookshelf it like it's not fancy but it doesn't take up any a whole lot of room it's nice like this this one too these two both are like good but I think this one had some kind of glitch with it before so I should probably go with the Maxis one um, let's see because I hate bookshelves that, like, are so big and bulky you can't see past them. Because, as you can see by the way I designed the house, I want to see what's going on in all parts of the house at all times, if at all possible. Which is why I also hate multi-story houses. But when you have eight wings, you kind of have to have a multi-story house. So, what shall be next? Table and chairs in the Great Hall. Now, there should be enough to, like, seat 700 people. But, we're not going to do that because we're not rich yet. So... <laughs> We're just going to have what we need. Um, let's see. Might get like one that seats six people, but I'm not gonna like put in like 40 tables and stuff. It's just like, and make it actually look like a great hall because this is modern day nobility. Adjustments can be made. So, let's see. This one. I do have some weird glitch with one, some dining table at some point. The last one's kind of nice too, though. Uh, that's only a hundred bucks, though, for like down in this row. So, hmm. no. I mean, they all look so similar; it's hard to decide. Uh, I guess 
we'll go with this one for now. And hopefully it's not glitchy. probably just going to still stand in front of the refrigerator and eat. <laughs> it's too far away. But whatever. Um, Alright. Seats. Those are kind of fancy for pretty cheap chairs. Um, but are they any of the colors tolerable? Yes. So, just Like a very dollar, only 25 each anyway. I better save again just in case I do get some weird glitch. I don't trust the game. See, that's the one problem when you got custom content. It makes the game much more fun, but also opens you up to a lot of glitches. Alright, um, stereo. Now, do I really want a stereo? Um, normally I always put a stereo in my houses, at least one. But with the way Twitch is about music, I don't know. Um, I think for now, we'll skip the stereo. Just, well, I don't know. I don't have a lot of custom music in the game yet, because I just got a new computer in June. So, I don't have a lot of custom music put back in the game yet. Mm, I don't know. Ugh, such decisions. I Normally when I'm playing, I don't even think twice about it. But I know that Twitch has muted me for playing music in the background before. It's really freaking annoying. But, um, let's see. Stereo. I guess we'll do a stereo. I don't know. Probably gonna end up getting muted though because of it. But I had the sound turned down really low. Maybe you won't even be able to tell, but I doubt it. We'll see. Okay. Stereo. Now, I want one that I don't need extra furniture for. See, this says reliability 8. But it seems to break a whole hell of a lot. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm not quite sure what that that eight is trustworthy. Um, I don't know. Let's see, stereo. Actually, we should have a stereo in the great hall. You know, live entertainment is not quite what it used to be. <laughs> but, uh, I do miss being able to have a singer career like we had in Sims Three. So I guess we'll put that there. For now. For now. And then a mirror in the bathroom and a TV, and then I think we can actually play the game! Oh my god! And see how many mods I forgot I forgot to readjust, so I'm G-rated. <laughs> Instead of realistic, we must be G-rated. Okay. Now, I know um, recently they did some update where none of the custom mirrors work. None of them work anymore. So I'm going to have to use a Maxis one. I took out most of the custom mirrors, but as you can see, some are still in here. Um, just put that up for now. Because right now I'm just going with cheap stuff so they can afford the butler until they start making money. Alright, so now we've got the bare necessities. So that the game's at least playable. Um, make sure it has the door set right. Save first. Yes, we're going to eventually be able to play. Like I said, I just have the bare necessities. And we still have 14,000, so we can still get other stuff. But right now, I'm trying not to touch any of the other money. Unless they have something they want to buy or whatever. Because we need to be paying the butler slash servants slash maester, whatever you want to call it. Okay. So. Oh, the butler's bed. Oh, I knew there was something I forgot. I know there's always something. There's always something. Okay. I swear I'm going to be playing the game someday. I swear. Okay. <laughs> anyway. I think this is what happens when you're first starting the game. But you know, in the next video, I'll just be able to immediately start playing. I'm like looking at the double beds for The butler doesn't need a double bed. You can have this piece of crap. You're a butler. That's supposed to be purple, but it looks more black. And then this one looks... There you go. 
styling quarters for the butler. Okay. Yes, I'm, I'm, I can possibly save because of glitches. I don't trust anything. Alright. So, even though it's Thorn, we'll have him hire the help. But the reason I said even though it's Dorn <laughs> is because if you've read the books, you know what Dorn's supposed to be like. Nothing like it is on the show. But um, one thing about Dorn in the books is women are equal. Women are equal. The actual heir to Dorn is Ariana Martel. Even though she's got two brothers. Because she's the oldest. I love Dorn. Real Dorn. Not not show Dorn. Real Dorn. I'm not I'm not trashing the show, but I I hate what they did with Dorn. Okay, um let's see. Pizza or maid service, that's what we want. We want a bootler. Yeah, you you do that. Okay. Alright, we can actually start playing. It's been how many how long now? <laughs> okay. It's been 41 minutes, and now I can finally play. Okay. Moving on. Alright. Butler, butler. There we go. Okay. Let's do this. Explore your huge freaking house. Oh, I forgot the TV. I forgot the damn TV. We'll do that real quick. Alright. Because I got distracted by the issue of whether or not to have a stereo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have to be too fancy yet. So, I'll go with that one. And some kind of coffee table to stick it on. Even though it's kind of big, we don't really technically need a coffee table. Okay. Come here, TV. Alright, there we go. And we have to set up the butler's room, but you gotta like wait an hour before you can even set it up. the butler and you keep trying to set the bed and it never works. Alright. Gonna let me set the bed yet or do I gotta wait some more? Yeah, I gotta wait some more. She's gone up to the computer. Assign bed to butler. Erica Watanabe is our butler apparently. Okay. Don't even know if that's how you pronounce it, but whatever. Okay, so what does Chicky Chick want to do? Um, she wants to dance to stereo music, be alone, share insecurities. Because uh -huh. her personality, like yeah. I said, I, I randomized her personalities, but she got jealous and alone. Two things don't usually go together. But, okay, whatever. That mirror is badly placed. I want to yeah. watch the rest of the house, but the mirror is going to be in the way. Alright. So, now begins the fun, right? Seeing what these freaks uh -huh. are going to do. Because, like I said, I don't really sit there and assign them every second of their day. Although she does want to dance. So I'll turn on the stereo at the risk of the Twitch gods. Probably getting muted because of it. Hey, butler chick, what's up? Alright. We have a female maester. See how progressive Dorn is? Turn on. See, now there's some stations that don't have any um, any custom music in them at all. Normally I always go for alternative, but... Um, I'll turn it on, and then get muted because Twitch hates me. Okay. <laughs> Moving on, moving on. Alright, yes, she's a loner. So this is Eleanor. Her husband's Avalar. He's an adult, she's a teen. They just got stuck getting married to each other. Um, and as you can see, they're spending a lot of time talking to each other already. <laughs> Why 
guys are, bu- are bouncing. Are who? Yeah. I'm gonna come bug me. Yeah. Are you bugging me? Little Mister, go ahead. Now you're going to Windex my desk while I'm using it. Thank you. I wanted a face full of Windex. That's so Aww. sweet of you to be considerate. And make sure you spray it on the candles so I can start a fire. Good then girl. Then, Blaine. Mister, my butt. Okay. Just Jack, stop spraying shit in my face. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway. She just really has nothing to do yet. Just like, I'm gonna go Windex your face. Nice. Okay. Alright, moving on. So, she's changed. Since she got to be alone, now she wants to be funny with her husband. But she should do that on her own. She should do all these things on her own. So I'm not gonna tell her to do them. Because I know it might be boring to just watch without me sitting there and saying, do this, do this, do this, do this. But to me, it's more interesting to see what they'll do on their own. I don't know. I'm sure nobody else plays that way. But I mean, what's the point in having free will in the game if you're going to control every second of their lives? I mean, I do things when I need to do them, but I'd rather see what they do on their own. I like being surprised. So anyway. TV. Okay. Exciting life. <laughs> and you can probably tell when I move the camera that I'm trying to see every every part of the house at all times, or at least everybody that's in the house. But I do apologize for OBS because every time I move the camera, the picture goes all wonky. It's very annoying. But anyway. Let me also check on this to see. I'm checking like the uh, the stream. Hello, one person that's watching. <laughs> so, I'll hit the wrong button. But anyway, um, so, ah, oh, she's hungry. Auto resolve is your friend. Especially if you have a butler who's cooking crap for you. But yeah, um, OBS. Every time the camera moves, the picture goes all screwy and stupid, and I hate it. Now, I do have another, um, another program that I could use, and the picture's perfect in that program. But, um, for some reason, there's some weird background noise. I mean, I can talk over it, but it's just, it's weird. I don't know why it's there, because I've changed the volume settings 15 different ways and it's always there some weird background noise but it can't be my mic because i have no background noise well, and uh, i use the mic with obs so it's very strange but if the the picture going funny and dissolving gets too annoying please let me know and i will try to use the other program instead if you think you can deal with the um background noise then i can use the other program which has a much better picture hello husband who I just met. How are you? <laughs> she should do her homework too. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> Maybe I'll let her do it later. I usually wait till they have the, um, to do their homework so they at least get points for it. And as you can see when I'm playing, I always keep the, the mouse down on the, the action bar if I can, so I can tell what they're doing. Like, I know they're talking, but I wouldn't know that she's complimenting his appearance unless I had the mouse there, so, yeah. I always try to set it there. If I can. So I know what they're doing. I'm a semi-control freak, see? I like letting them have free will, but I also like knowing what they're doing at all times. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm half a control freak. Is that, is that a thing? I don't know. But anyway, let's see. It's 10.30 already, dudes. 10.30. It's probably going to end the stream at 11, just so it doesn't get too long, but I might just start streaming again after that anyway, because I'm probably going to be playing most of the day anyway, and I don't want you guys to miss anything that happens in their lives, so I'll just probably divide up the streams into like one to two hour portions. And like I said, if I get enough um, followers that I can actually do the money thing on Twitch, then maybe I'll stick the webcam on my cats and see if I can get that to work. Because, you know, you never can go wrong with cat videos, right? 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 I don't know. Anyway. We 
should probably put this away. Oh, before it goes bad. Oh no. Why are you making more food, Psycho? Crazy chick. Fine, I'll put it away if it's your job, Butler. Since you're making more food. Yeah, she still just hasn't changed much else she wants to do yet. I don't know how well you can hear the game sound. I have it turned down really low. So, you'll have to tell me if you want me to readjust the game sound or whatever. Because I have the microphone up to 100 game sound down to like 20 or less, I don't even remember. She's gonna go watch TV. Okay. Yeah, I really don't like the way OBS is like, the picture gets fuzzy every time the camera is moving, but I don't know. If it doesn't bug you guys, I'll stay with OBS because it obviously works, just we get the fuzzy picture issue every time it moves. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta walk so far. <laughs> Ah, gotta love living in a mansion. I can't wait to see what the bills are gonna be. But luckily, with MC Command Center, I can readjust the bill amount if I have to. So, they still have 14000 so they can still get other stuff, but I'm like, why should I bother spending money on furniture for other rooms and tell people who are actually gonna be using those other rooms? We can just suspend imagination and say, those rooms are locked. Nobody goes in there, so we don't need to know what's in there. Something like that the way apartments worked in Sims 3. You couldn't see oh, unless you went in. Anyway. And this chick is gonna, like, keep wasting all of our food. That's the one problem I have with the butlers. They still haven't fixed that since Sims 3. It's like, they keep making food, even when you already have food. <laughs> Stop making food! And then, like, um, I was playing, this was a few months ago, I was playing in another house where there was toddlers. And the butler would not make food. I'm like, please, just make food, because the toddlers can actually get food themselves if it's out in the world. And you don't have to sit there and stick them in the high chair and wait on adults and all that other BS that comes with toddlers. So, if the food, the food is in the world, the toddler can just go get the food. And the butler wasn't making food. It was really bizarre and annoying. And now, that we're in a house with no toddlers, she's making tons of food. Crazy butlers need new AI. But anyway... Let's see. Now, I think right now, the only thing I took out of the game is, um, the, I, I put the thing that removes the sensor blur, I put it out of the game, so the blur is back in the game now. And I think I left everything else still in the game, so, I don't know. If something's gonna happen, then I'm gonna have to, like, try to turn the camera away <laughs> or something. I don't know. I think I got it taken care of. But there's a few little risque outfits if some townie walks by with something hanging out. We gotta worry. But <laughs> I don't know. It really depends. I don't really, I'm not really gonna be talking to a lot of townies anyway, I'm sure, because they're nobles. I want to talk to the townies. The small folk. Come on, get real. <laughs> anyway. So I'm trying to decide when um, actually to make the, the next house. I don't know. If I should make the next house before or after I get these ones an heir of some sort, uh, if they ever have an heir, because you don't know. But um, what I usually do when I'm playing the game, I'll play one household until I get the little orange thing that says notification wall full, and then I'll stop playing the household when I get that notification thing. And then, when I start playing the game again, I'll either continue with that house, or usually, most most of the time, I go to another house. So, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Um, I'll have to maybe use dice to decide, like, I everything else. <laughs> like, so, am I going to continue playing House Briar, or am I going to make House Brook, I think, is the next extinct house in Dorne? I think it's Briar, Brook, Brown Hill, Dryland. Oh, man. Oh, uh, there's some other ones. Holt and Hall and I don't know. But, um, yeah, there's nine extinct houses in Dorne. And I'm playing them first because, you know, they're extinct. They should be gone by the time I get to the modern houses. She's very happy. I don't know why you're very happy, but go on with it, dear. 
Watch Super Kids Cortex Catastrophe. See, I don't get this weird glitch where, like, something gets stuck in the action bar. It's strange. But worse than that is, um, when they're conversing with somebody and it gets stuck at your, at the top of your screen for, like, days. But, um, the worst glitch I've had in recent days is, um, lots not wanting to load. Usually that only happens with, um, community lots. But it happened in my one house after I kept readjusting the family and moving people out. Um, but I'm gonna have to evict the last remaining person and move them back in and see if that fixes it when I get back to playing that. But I probably won't be playing that house for a while because it's a different town and I'm gonna be doing this for a bit. But anyway. They're so excited about these books. It's like, Sims are so into reading. It's very strange. They got a computer, they got a TV, they got a stereo. Let's read a book. She wants to make a friend. Who would watch Pox? Anyway, wants to make a friend. Well, there's no other nobles in town. You can't have any friends. Deal with it. <laughs> there are townies, I'm sure she can talk to. But why would she? She's a noble. Highborn lady. But anyway. Yes, it's modern day, but it's modern day nobility. So all that BS is still around. So why would I talk to the small folk? Ugh. Dancing. She's gonna go dance. So is Twitch gonna mute me now because she's gonna go to listen to music? Bring it on. Bring on your mute. I just won't talk while she's down there at the stereo. Because they're gonna mute me anyway, so what's the point? <laughs> I don't know. I'm still debating whether or not I should let them have stereos. I like having stereos in the houses. I like having music on while I'm playing. And it makes sense with there are all these I want to go dance crap. But when Twitch gets all bitchy about the music, it's kind of annoying. But anyway, I don't even understand that, why you get muted out. It's like, isn't playing music good publicity for your band? But, you know, whatever. Yep, this is actual music, so I'll probably get muted out. She wants to call somebody. You don't know anybody to call, babe. So, you may not be hearing me right now. Because she's listening to actual music. I should probably take the custom music out just because it's so annoying. But anyway. Huh. I guess what we'll do is we'll go to him while she's dancing. Because you can't really hear the music up here. Alrighty. I like having music in the game, but my goodness, it's annoying. Speaking of annoying, that pixelation is so freaking annoying. I hate it. It's so ridiculous. So what does he want to do? Oh, and his personality, he didn't see it when I was going through. Like I said, I randomized everything. Ambitious goofball insider. Domestic. Yes. Heads exploding when they see that time frame, oh. that lifespan. What do you want to go to sleep for? I guess 9.30, but still, that's kind of early. Um, flash crazy eyes. <laughs> okay, flash crazy eyes, um, tell a joke, join a new club. He's going to sleep. Is Chicky Chick still dancing? No. So that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to, if it's playing real music, I'm going to have to just go to another sim because I don't want to deal with getting muted and crap. It's so annoying and ridiculous. Like I said, it's it's free publicity for the band. Why would why they want it muted? It's just dumb. It's not like I'm claiming, hey, I wrote this song. This is me singing. No. It's just, my sims are listening to your music. You should be happy, not be muting me. But anyway. I don't know. I might just get rid of the stereo. Because it's so annoying having to deal with that. Why aren't you tired? Usually, in this game, if you're under adult, you can only be awake for three hours. Which is utterly ridiculous, because younger people actually have more energy, not less energy, but whatever, game. Whatever. It's Sims, it doesn't have to make sense, right? So, anyway. Um. Whoever's talking in chat, I, that's not coming up as English in my chat. I don't know if you're speaking in a different language. But that's not coming up as English in my chat. 
is my chat set to a weird language. I'm going to try typing and see what comes up. Mine comes up as English, so I don't know what language yours is coming up in, but it's not showing up as English to me, so I can't really tell what you're saying. I'm sorry. But anyway... <laughs> Sorry about that, but it's not showing up as English for me, so I don't know what you're saying. Um, yeah, so she's going to bed. Now, hopefully it'll fast forward even with the butler wandering around. I don't remember if it does or not. So, since he'll wake up before her, I'll go to him. No, it's not fast forwarding because the butler's wandering around. So I guess we'll have to manually fast forward. Okay, only 20 minutes left before I put a cap on this stream. And there's my autosave. Alright, so while they're sleeping, let me check the stream again. I'm going to have to change that or something. Okay, anyway. guys are sleeping for a long time. I'm like looking at chat while they're sleeping since there's really nothing else. Oh, he's hungry now. Isn't he? They're not gonna eat then. They're not gonna eat. Why didn't it unfest for it? Did he sleep in the same thing that he was like already wearing? Now, how much spoiled food is in the kitchen since the butler just keeps on making food? Is the butler asleep now? What the hell the butler's doing? Okay. <laughs> Uh-oh, we're near the stereo again. Might get muted. Oh, she's over there. That is spoiled. Oh, uh, Yibs. <laughs> Grab some of that and then put it away. Of course, as soon as I put it away, she'll make more. She's psycho like that. Ah, there's some money, yay. Alright, what does he want to do? He wants to hug somebody, search for vampire information on the computer, and be mischievous. Now, I don't think he'll do the vampire information on his own, so I might tell him to do that. Like I said, I usually only tell them to do stuff if it's something I, that they won't do on their own. So, anyway. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to rearrange chat somehow. Um, but anyway. Let's see. Chippy's still asleep. How to serve and not be served. It's the only book the butler's ever read. Oh, I forgot to tell her to like enter the door. Yeah. It's visitors. Invite all visitors inside. Oh, we have to deal with the small folk if we're running this part of the kingdom. Since they're the only nobles right now, they are. Uh, huh. Music again. So I might be getting muted right now because it's playing music. But whatever. <laughs> it's like it didn't mute all the music I played, just a couple songs. But whatever. Stereo will break soon anyway. So I get those diff some different counters, those ones are the cheap ones. 
ones, but they were just the first ones I saw that were a tolerable color. The CB? The Deplora? What are you talking about? <laughs> what do you have an issue with? Just put the food away. Get it. Roomies, Bruncher? <laughs> Shives. <laughs> She's awake. Same stuff they already wore. Ah. I swear they have other outfits, right? Hmm. Strange. She obviously has other outfits. Maybe that's has something to do with the pixelation crap. Food must be gone. Oh, being sure. So, what does she want to do now? Dance, buy a toy, watch world culture. See, that's the problem with having them once successful lineage. They keep wanting to buy toys even before they have kids. When they don't have any kids, and it's just bizarre. Uh, Although you're probably not hearing me because there's music playing. <laughs> so, they probably get it. But whatever. Um, anyway. Okay. I'm waiting for them to want to buy stuff. Because they have money, currently. I just stopped at, like, the ba basic necessities. So we'd have enough money to pay the butler. Well, they're like $1,200 a week or some crazy crap like that. 15 minutes to go in the stream. And I still need another 47 followers before I can actually start trying to make money. So, like I said, if even if you never watch anything I do, just please follow me so I can at least be eligible. So, I would appreciate it greatly. And once I get enough followers, I might hook up the webcam stick my cute cats on it just so you guys have something to look at other than the game, right? Alrighty. I don't know why they laugh so much at romance movies. I guess it is pretty ridiculous when you think about it. Not that I'm jaded or anything. <laughs> but yeah, they like they're watching romance and they're like laughing like they're watching comedy. I guess romance is comedy. I don't there's another weird little thing that's been doing. It's like every time they watch T V it says, Hey, I'm gonna work out after this, but then they never do. It's always in the queue, but then they never do. It's strange. But anyway. I'm sure it's because I've custom content and something's messing with something, but as long as the game ain't crashing, I can live with it. Now she's flirty, very flirty. Okay. Will there be an error? Flirt with someone, buy a toy, watch some crap. Alright, what's his deal? He wants to hug somebody, search for vampire information. Be mischievous. Well, I guess I'll tell him to do the one thing that he'll probably do on his own. Whoa, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she's worried about what he's doing because she's jealous. Dude, he's like right across the room from you. It's not really that far away. You know, I had one Sim that was jealous and it's like every single day she had to go to work, she would be all tense. She'd never get promoted, even though she had all of her, um, all of her requirements, but because she always went to work tense, she wouldn't get promoted. And she was always tense because she wasn't around her husband. 
So I literally had to waste points and get her the carefree trait just so she could get promoted at work. It was ridiculous. I usually wait till they get 4,000 before I buy any rewards. That way they can get any of the traits. to it someday. Alright. I really should make her do her homework and she's not doing anything else, but I'm waiting for her to say that she wants to do her homework. Because then I'll get points for it. Do an exercise video, so I don't know if they're just glitched as a whole or just shows up for no reason. I don't know why the camera deselects, but that's a huge problem if you have an active career sim. The camera refuses to follow them around the workplace. It's so annoying. It's like they walk three feet and then the camera unselects them for some reason. I think by far the most annoying in-game glitch is um, when you try to play a vampire and as soon as you hit level 3 your vampire is exhausted every second of every day and you can't actually do anything at all with them because they're always exhausted. Even when their energy's full, they have the exhausted moodlet and they can't do anything. It's, and as soon as they hit level 3, it's so weird. I really wish they'd fixed that because it's so annoying. I love vampires and I play vampires all the time. It, not if they can't do anything once they hit level 3. Alright, send us 30 text, buy a toy. Make out with that a lot. Watch World Culture Network. Who are you going to send text to? You only know one person. Although I have the butler now set to enter the door. But I do have to reset that every time I reload the lot, because for some reason she forgets every time you reload the lot, the butler forgets what you told them to do. fuzzy when the camera moves. It's so annoying. Uh, OBS, why are you evil to me? I'd really much rather use the other program, because it don't have that issue. But 
to hear some weird background noise, so whatever. Go pick. Do you want to put up a fuzzy picture when the camera moves, or background noise for the whole video, one or the other? Let's see. Oh, all mine. Okay. So what does she want to do now? Admire something here, make out with Evelyn, or watch some crap, make a friend. He wants to buy an instrument and a video game console. And a toy, which I'm not going to do until there. Actually, is somebody in the house who will use the toy. Um, Alright, so he wants to buy an instrument. one is the freaking violin, which is oh so pleasant to listen to. <laughs> right? <laughs> Can you hear the sarcasm? Red, white, or blue? Guess we'll do red. And since they would have live entertainment in the Great Hall, I guess we'll put it down here for now. And he wants to buy a baby. with the computers or not maybe it's with the TVs yes it is guess we'll get the slightly fancier one Ooh, 800 bucks man White is the least annoying. Placing these game consoles is always strange. Never wants to like acknowledge where you put the thing. I think I can just set it right in front of it and hopefully that'll work. Says every 11 some hours. <coughs> when I used to have it set to 12, it got really annoying. They'd say, like, every time they went to work or every time they got home, it's the same time every day. So I said to 11 instead. That's actually not too expensive. There we go. You have a piece of art now. Enjoy. <laughs> okay. Alright. So he wants to... And he needs to go to the bathroom. And then he wants to view a piece of art and buy a toy. cloud gazing them. Oh well. It's just about 11 though. Okay, when you're that pregnant, you shouldn't be wearing that, Bella. But anyway, um, so it's just about 11 now, so I'm probably going to end the stream here, but I'll probably continue it later today. Um, maybe just in a little bit, an hour or so, maybe I'll be back on streaming a little bit more. But, um, thank you for the one person that was watching and the other person that popped in briefly. 
And I'm sorry I couldn't really respond to you in chat, but um, on my screen it's in a different language, so I can't really tell what you were trying to say. But anyway, um, so I'm going to end this stream here, get it all shipped out to YouTube and all that fun, and then probably come back a little later for part two of House Briar of Dorne, now extinct. So, again, yeah, thank you all for watching, and I hope you will tune in for the next one. So, until then. <laughs>